It's been reported that Harry and Meghan have been reunited as of yesterday. It's also been reported that Harry wrote a very deeply and touching letter to his father, who's actually in Wales right now. So when you hear the press say, oh, Harry's not there with his grandmother right now. Well, neither is his father. His grandmother does have a birthday. Um, Is it today or tomorrow? Anyway, her official birthday celebration is in June, as I've mentioned before. So the queen is dealing with her grief the best way that she can, but there will be no birthday celebration for this 95-year-old woman who just lost her husband. She has a great support network, and the queen is going to be okay, so please stop feeding into this weaponization of the Queen's age and Meghan and Harry and oh why are they they are young and they're getting on with their lives they were in a tough situation the Queen understands that Harry met with the Queen on two occasions it has been reported while he was visiting for his grandfather's funeral so he's been in touch with his father via letter as far as we know they were supposed to take some kind of walk with each other Whether or not that happened, I don't know. I don't even know that the letter exists, but that is what's being reported thanks to the anonymous source. The other thing that has happened is that Harry spent time with his grandmother on those two occasions as reported. I'd like to believe all of these things are true, but we won't know because we're not there. But it's okay to speculate But as long as you take it with a grain of salt, we don't know what the truth is about any of these people. What we do know is that there is information that has been leaked, good and bad. And that was, of course, one of the bones of contentions that the Sussexes had during their time in the United Kingdom as a married couple. And so now they're in California. There's the other weaponization of the term but I thought they wanted their privacy. Well, I've never, and please help me, I've never heard Megan and Harry say we want out for privacy. I've never heard that used before. But of course, that is the other thing that you hear repeated over and over again. There's also that morning show host that doesn't have a job anymore that uh, decided to have a temper tantrum and walk out. One of the things that that negative person loves to say is something about cake, something about cake and their cake and their cake. These things are not by chance. These things are actually created as part of a greater narrative to bring this cloud of negativity upon the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Well, I'm going to tell you it's not going to work because I happen to have the cookbook (laughs) from the Hub Kitchen. I have the cookbook. I haven't even opened it. I also have the Clever Blend that I have used and it's great. I'm going to use the cookbook. But as you can see, the more negative we are, the more money I spend. And so next... I'm going to wait until the price is right. And guess what? I'm going to the Invictus Games. And why am I going? Because I hate a bully. So keep it up. (laughs) Americans love the underdog. That's why we are not part of the British Empire right now. It's because we hate a bully. So be cool, everybody. Don't despair. Things are going to be great for 2021, 2022. If you're going to be in The Hague for the Invictus game, I will see you there. And that is all for tonight. For tonight, good night.